tell you about uh, what Linux is and uh, some basic settings and some uh, actually the file directories and the basic browser and uh, some other settings that how Kali Linux actually looks like and what software it has and uh, what things uh, are actually available with Kali Linux so uh, this is the status bar and you can see that the status bar has uh, has many things it has uh, the time and it has the day here is the application menu and application menu actually contains uh, a, a lot of tools uh, you can say that tools are actually the software and it has information gathering tools it has vulnerability analysis tools it, it has database assessment tools wireless attack tools exploitation tools and and uh, we are going to look into uh, into a lot of these tools and we'll be working on that don't need to worry about about all of these big lists and everything uh, here here is the places and it has uh, it has home it has desktop it's just like uh, a normal folder structure uh, a normal directory structure which exists in windows or mac os x so it is actually the same so uh, once we click any of them we can like say we can go to computer here and it will open uh, open a folder for us and from here uh, we are going well, we can click on home it's actually the same uh, it, it's actually the same thing we see here uh, when we click on places home so in home we have documents downloads music and pictures and and stuff like that we can make new folder we can go into properties and and it's just like a normal windows so uh, in some things uh, Linux is actually similar to Windows and some it's not here is the uh, here is the workspaces so for example I have uh, a home for uh, a home folder open here and once I click on the workspace 2 I am going to see a new window so I can do several tasks like I, I can multitask uh, at, at the same time uh, and let me show you here uh, this button actually shows that we are actually connected to a network so uh, the settings which, uh, which we set up for from for the net network uh, this is the symbol for that it, it actually tells us that we are connected to uh, a network actually so here it is here it's wired connected the net network we are connected to here is the proxy if we want to set proxy uh, uh, it is telling us that we are the root user and we can go into account settings and log out of that here's the shutdown button we can lock we can lock our machine and here are the settings and in settings there will be uh, Wi-Fi adopter settings there will be uh, th there can be a lot of settings like for example there's Wi-Fi settings Bluetooth settings background settings and and privacy settings some uh, all of those uh, all of that stuff so uh, here is something I want you to understand is that Kali Linux is actually taking internet from our Windows machine from the host machine actually so I am connected here to a network I am connected to a network uh, its name is rogue AP and it is actually forwarding the internet to this virtual box virtual box Kali Linux machine so if I want to connect this Kali machine to a to a Wi-Fi network actually I need a wireless adopter card uh, it's like a signal catcher card and you can get it from market I want you to buy uh, a Wi-Fi adopter which can run monitor mode this is all you need to remember now and and because I'm going to discuss that later when we get on to the Wi-Fi hacking section but for now I want you to just buy a wireless adopter card with the monitor modes with the monitor mode supported actually so now uh, we can see that uh, there is no Wi-Fi network adopter option available here and we cannot connect to a Wi-Fi network I am going to insert my uh, my wireless adopter device right now and you can see here is the symbol I inserted it and 
I can go to devices here and from here in a moment I will see see here is the Atlas USB 2.0 WLAN available so I can click on it and it will connect me to in a moment it will show that I can actually catch signals from it so here it is we can see that Wi-Fi is not connected I can click it and then select network and it is going to show me all the Wi-Fi network available around me so I can just click any of them and connect to them just by putting a simple password the password for that Wi-Fi network actually so I am going to enter my password here and click on connect and in a moment I will be connected to my so see I am connected to my uh, Wi-Fi network actually so I am actually connected to my Wi-Fi network and I am also connected to the NAT network so my Kali machine is actually taking internet from two places one is the NAT network we connected to which is coming from the host machine and secondly it is independent of that NAT network and that is from the Wi-Fi network so uh, the, uh, that was all and uh, another thing that uh, here is the Firefox browser here it is uh, here is the Firefox browser uh, it's a default browser for Kali Linux and we can install an, uh, other browsers too if we want but for now it is not needed this is the terminal you can click it and you can look into that uh, I want you to do some some work by yourself and just try to explore this because it is not it is not something which is difficult it's an it's an easy thing for you so just look, look into the, this and try to learn yourself and I will be teaching you a lot about all of this cool stuff see you guys in the next video this will be all for now Thank you very much.